Hale. Hale. Megan the horse. First off, I don't know if it's a fetish for y'all or something, but a lot of y'all seem to like, uh, 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 uh. I don't find Megan the Stallion one bit attractive. One bit attractive. Let me say it again. Not even one bit attractive. This is not bullying, hate, harassment, none of that. This is my personal opinion. I'm allowed to express my personal opinion. I could have said a lot worse, but I'm just saying I'm keeping it limited today. You know what else is limited? It seems that taking responsibility is limited as well. The light's good. It seems, ooh wait, that taking responsibility for a lot of y'all is also limited because we're so quick to cancel Tory Lanez whether he's innocent or not. And if you've watched my video on the Me Too movement, which I'm going to wrap it up quickly for you here today, because I don't have a lot of time. I don't feel like spending all day. and I'm not going to send you back to an old video. All I was saying was this. The Me Too movement is an attempt by the powers that be I mean, I'm not gonna say me too, but I'm gonna tell you the believe our woman. It was a it was a attempt by the powers that be to strip you, my friend, of any rights to a fair trial. You know the rights that people went to wars and 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 and, and bloodshed and all that over. You know them rights? Yeah, them rights taken, confiscated, seized. <clears throat> I mean, stolen. So, this is my issue here. And this is a great, great, great example of why I am so against this whole Believe All Woman thing. Before you head to the comment section and take your Twitter fingers and start typing a bunch of nonsense trying to accuse me of some, let me tell you something. I have two sisters. I don't have any biological brothers. All I have is females. And I'm very protective over mine. Whether you play with my sisters, whether you play with my mother, whether you play with my daughter, wife, girlfriend, whatever, cousin, female, any female, you decide to take your little organ, okay, and try to uh, 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 non consensually, you get where I'm going. Trust me, you will be facing very harsh consequences. Um, I'm not talking um, police. I'm talking about you have to face me, and eh, it's not a it's not a good feeling. Okay, and I'm a YouTuber, but don't take me for one of these YouTubers. With that being said, obviously I'm against the the the, the core idea of 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 assaulting or 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 R word. You get it? I'm against that all the way. As a matter of fact, I spent some videos fighting for some victims. My issue is with stripping the, the justice system, which is already not just, which is already already contains systematic bias, systematic, systemic racism. When we take such a system, which is already not just as it should be, it's already not perfect. You're telling me. We should strip a person more of his rights to a fair trial. Why? Because we must believe our woman? No, we shouldn't believe our woman. Not all women are credible. Not all women tell the truth. As a matter of fact, time and time over, we've seen women take advantage of that uh, 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 law, of that rule. This is not no uh, IN, hashtag space, so this is none of that. This is straight up facts. This is unbiased facts. How many times did we witness women lie? If you're a man in this world, if you're a woman in this world, you probably know a woman who weaponizes that system to put men 
in trouble with lies. Five minutes in the video, I'm not going to take too long. I just want to ask a simple question today, ladies and gentlemen. When are we going to cancel Megan Thee Stallion? Megan Thee Stallion said, Tory Lanez, a smaller Canadian rapper. You know, we're Canadian. I'm already, I'm a little biased. I can't lie. Canadian black dude, you lied on him. You already, you already stepped on toes here. Now you're telling me small old poor old Tory Lanez up fire on you, pop, and said, dance, be dance? What? That don't even sound right. That don't sound like Tory Lanez's character. This sounds this sounds <laughs> this sounds like a movie what you describe here. But benefit of doubt. Again, I'm all for fair trial. If what you said is right and Tory shot you in your foot, which I refuse to believe for two reasons. Reason one, who do you know gets shot in a foot and is twerking next day in the club? I don't know. But I digress. He shot you in your foot and told you dance be dance, but you hit the club next day to twerk. That must be that stallion power. Maybe you, <laughs> let me tell. So on top of that, I just want to, I just want to highlight something to you. After those wild allegations that you've made, Megan Thee Stallion, you didn't suffer much. Again, you were at the club next day twerking. You know who suffered? Do you want to know who suffered? It was Tori who suffered. The Canadian artist Tori. Dude who went all the way from Canada. Like, you understand how hard it is for a Canadian artist to make it in the American mainstream industry? It's not that easy. It's not, it takes a lot of travel and money and risk, and you still may not make it. So when dude goes through hell and back and makes it, and you take it away from him, you, you got him canceled. Labels stop working with him. A lot of artists stop working with him. A lot of projects he had on the way stopped. A lot of... Um, Deals he had, whether it's sponsorship or record deals or whatever. A lot of business stopped for him because of your lies, Megan Thee Stallion. Megan, this is not what I'm saying. I am not a paid blogger. I am not one of these guys you said are on the payroll. I'm on nobody's payroll. I'm rich. Look at the B on my forehead. I'm rich. I don't need nobody money. I'm just a guy with a voice who says what he th thinks. That's a fact. So I don't need your money. I can't be bought or swayed. I'm just highlighting the obvious. If highlighting the obvious to you equals, oh, you're on somebody's payroll, then something is up. If I'm not allowed to criticize you, something is up. You lied on him. You got him canceled. This man suffered emotionally. This man suffered financially, and you owe him financial and emotional damage. If you were such a real one that you wouldn't tell on him, that's the reason this case is taking so long, or you trying to protect your girl, you wouldn't sit on your girl, then why did you call the cops in the first place? Why did pew 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 go off in the first place? You could have just glass breaking, whatever, wiped it under the rug, took the L in the relationship, as far as the story goes, as like you said, and moved on. Am I, am I right or wrong? That could have happened, but you called the cops. And you weaponized your femininity, or lack thereof, because I'm telling you, looking at her, I don't see no femininity. Megan the Stallion, you a turk, she hug. Ain't no femininity there, bruh. But hold on. You lied on that man. You got his career 
to plunge. You destroyed his career, arguably. Which is, you know, when you when you put such allegations on his man, here's let me let me explain some to you. Females that wanna 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 throw it away, weaponize it like it's a oh it's okay. I'm just gonna say I lied. Or they're gonna just stop caring. No, they don't stop caring. Even when you drop such an allegation on on a, on a man, even if you come out that you're lying, a lot of people will always hang on to that allegation, even though you came out to said you're lying. Even if you that happened, they're gonna be like, "Oh, weren't you beating women?" She said, "I'm lying. It's proven. I don't care." Look at Andrew Tate. He never a woman. It was playful. It was consensual BDSM in a, in a private, but they still choose to cut the first part and make him look like the woman beater. They still, even though with proof, people don't want to hear the proof. People just going to latch on to it. And lo and behold, they latched on to it so much, they got him canceled and banned from the internet and the platform. Bravo. You see my issue here? It's not the Me Too movement. It's the unfairness of it. It's the unjustness of it. But again, when do we cancel people like Megan Thee Stallion? For lying on a map? Or do y'all support that type of character? Cardi B, listen, Rick Cross. And he never did it, as far as I know. He never actually put a Molly in somebody's champagne. He just rapped. He just... Freestyle. Put a Molly in a champagne. She ain't even know it. On a song, you ain't even know it. That line alone cost him millions of dollars in a Reebok deal. And many other... He got... He, yeah, a lot of companies stopped associating with Rick Ross for just rapping at him. Just, Just rapping. But Cardi B not only says Molly, because listen... I'm I'm not defending what he said, but in a lot of these situations, they pop Molly. They do what they do. It is what it is. But in Cardi B, she meant it in that specific sense of setting up somebody. Where she Cardi B rapped about drugging a man and taking him to a hotel room to rob him or do whatever to him. Yet Cardi B's not canceled. Cardi B's gone state to state, tour to tour, getting money to money. As a matter of fact, she's doing the WAP with Megan the Horse, and nobody bats an eye. You see, you see where my issue comes? When are we canceling Megan the Stallion for lying and destroying that man's career for her own benefit? Selfishly. Selfishly. Selfish. Selfishly. Selfishly. When does she get canceled? Answer me. When does she get canceled, or is that just for men? She lied on him. If I'm not mistaken, that is a criminal offense to lie on somebody and get him criminal. The case is not over, but I'm convinced she's she's lying. That's my opinion. It's not facts. It's what I think. The judge in her case told DJ Academics, yo, she lying, bro. Everybody would... IQ over 10 knows that you lied on a man. His career is starting to recover, but it will never be the same. Tory Lanez, if you're watching this, please, when the day gets proven in court that she lied on you, you know how they did Amber Heard? I want you to go 20 times harder. I want you to sue her for all the emotional damages. I want you to sue her for all the financial damages she's caused you, poor Canadian man. <laughs> I'm affected for you. It's my second hand. And I'm not even you. <laughs> Cancel Megan Thee Stallion just like y'all canceled Tory Lanez. And I'm going to lead this campaign myself because a lot of y'all seem to just forgotten about it. Oh, Tori's back, yeah. Yeah, Megan, like, yeah, it is what it is. No, it's not it is what it is. I'm going to stand on the forefront of this movement to cancel Megan Thee Stallion because I hate the fact that someone can weaponize their femininity or try to use this. My whole thing when I made the Me Too movement, it sounded crazy. AK, you must be an N. 
It's L. I am not that. I'm just the guy who sees facts for what they are. When Julian Assange, the governments were trying to get him. If you don't know his story, look it up. But when they were trying to get him and they didn't actually have a crime they could charge him with, they made up. They had a girl make up a, a SEX assault allegation in a different country and charge him with it and then use that. And it was false. Every, it, it was proven to be. Of course it was false. But they used that to grab him legally and then take him and extradite him and have him face, uh, which is a messed up case. You can look it up on your own time. But believe all women is met for these cases, is met for these specific situations. I don't like you. I want you in jail, but you're not a criminal. So I'm going to just make up a crime and it's believe all women. So guess what? Locked up. I'm locked up. No, no, I'm not. I'm not going to say I because I don't want to manifest that. You locked up. They won't let you out. Hey, yo, Megan, I heard you like girls. That's going to be perfect for you and they lock you up. You locked up. They won't let you out. They won't let you out. Locked up. They won't let you out. Oh. If I was you, I would make, Megan, I would respect you a quadruple. T I would start to like you, actually, if you came out and ended this case at where it is and just ended it. Because you, you obviously didn't get shot. Doctors don't have proof that you get. If you got shot, show me the bullet hole you got shot in. How did you get shot and go twerking the next day? I won't have it. This has to be fixed. Tory Lane suffered because of your lies. People were, I was looking at Tory crazy. I was like, Tory, Tory, how could you do this? And now I find out that you lied. Wow. I'm going to lead this movement to cancel Megan Thee Stallion because just like y'all canceled the poor man, the poor innocent Canadian man for lies, I want to see you cancel Megan Thee Stallion for the truth. I've had enough of WAP. I've had enough of Cardi B drugging a guy in a hotel room. This, this It's time for things to change. So y'all like equality, right? And another thing, I'm about to, <laughs> after this video, I'm about to go on my Snapchat. There's a few ladies I want to block, to be honest, because here's a message for y'all. <clears throat> Stop using feminism and all this to, 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 to justify your failures in life, okay? There's a, there's a tone of dismissing, dismissing, like, I was watching this Dr. Umar, this Dr. Umar, um, I don't know if it was a podcast, but he was arguing with another fellow psychologist, and she just, it was obvious that she hated black men. Because she just kept talking about like, what did black men do in the face of oppression? They did nothing. They did nothing? Oh, they did nothing? Really? Martin Luther King got assassinated for doing nothing. Malcolm X got assassinated for doing nothing. Oh, they did nothing, all right. But you see what I'm saying? A lot of y'all going to try to use this whole feminism nonsense and just it's, it's really just an attack on a man. I won't allow it. Since, since it's the norm, let it be the norm. But I'm going to lead the movement to equality, okay? Since y'all like equality, let's really have it equal. Megan Thee Stallion, cancel her. Get him out of here, son. Hit him in the head with the I'm not going to talk too much. Let me chill. It's your boy, AK. Hit the like button. Smash subscribe button. I'm going to see you in the next one. Hashtag cancel Megan Thee Stallion. Get him out of here, son. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. In case this video get demonetized, I would appreciate the super thanks. And anybody who sends a super thanks, notify me, um, and I will owe you a shout out. I'm saving all the shout outs for a documentary I'm working on. That being said, man. Megan the Stallion, Megan Orsi. Ooh, you won't be canceled.
I'm gonna make sure of it. My poor Canadian man. <laughs> Tori. Uh, hit like, smash, subscribe. Hit the share button. I'm out of here. Get him out of here, son. <laughs>